Hi everybody, welcome to Living Raw with Rosie. So uh, some of you have noticed that I haven't been making videos or posting for a while, almost a whole month I would say. Um, so a lot of things have been going on. So let me just recap on some of those things. So my husband had four family members who all passed away within one month period. And then he also lost a very close friend of his that passed away. So I've been gone. I've actually been uh, away in Las Vegas for about Las Vegas and Utah for about half a month. Um, and during that time, I was driving a lot to Utah because we are moving to Utah. As uh, some of you know, we are uh, military and we do move around a lot. Right now, we are stationed in Homestead, Florida, and we shall be moving to Utah by the end of this month. Um, so I'm going to go from a tropical warm weather to a different climate and different weather. Uh, we have been stationed there before, so we are familiar with the weather. So, uh, having started my raw food journey about, uh, let's see, a year and a half ago. Um, yeah, about a year and a half. So I lived in Florida during that time and I was able to keep the raw uh, lifestyle because it's easier here. Lots of fruits and vegetables uh, year round. But now I'm going to Utah. So Utah is going to be a little bit uh, challenging and a little bit different. I've already been out there while looking for a home. And uh, we found a home and I've been scoping the area. I do have a local Aldi close by. But there's two Whole Foods that are about 30 minutes away. That's going to be kind of challenging, which is um, probably um, probably around 25 minutes away from the Whole Foods here anyway. But over there, it's going to be about 30 minutes. So it's going to, I'm going to kind of be in the same boat as here. Hopefully, uh, we're moving into a new build. So hopefully, there will be uh, building shopping centers there soon. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, and as you guys can see, I'm going to show you as soon as I got back about, I would say l about two weeks ago from being away for so long, I started packing because uh, I had to come down and start packing as soon as, uh, we found the place. So let me show you guys the mess that I have here. So this is the living room. I have the TV and this is all the boxes that I've been packing from the house. Uh, yes, I have a big mess. <laughs> big, big mess here. So I just started posting some videos. I hope you guys watch them. I'm trying to revamp old videos and uh, make the quicker, um, easier version of making a lot of foods. I'm going to continue to eat raw while Utah, but as many of you know, my husband's not as raw as I am. I'm not 100% raw either. I do eat cooked foods in the, occasionally when I go out. But what I do is cook uh, plant-based uh, foods for him here at home too. And I'm thinking of starting another channel. Let me know if you guys would like me to do that on a cook plant-based um, lifestyle. Because he enjoys the food and it's been working for him a lot. So let me know if you guys would like me to start doing that as well. But I will continue doing um, raw videos. And please follow me on Facebook because I do post right there uh, daily things of what I eat. Uh, I did take a break, like I said. Um, I was traveling. What happened? I was traveling to Las Vegas and Utah a lot. And I was going to a lot of uh, raw food restaurants. And I got so lucky that it just so happens that one of my husband's aunts, um, Auntie Suzette. Hi, Auntie Suzette. She lives in Jersey. She was with she I was with her in Las Vegas during this whole family um thing that happened and uh me and her were able to go to uh, thank God Auntie Suzette is a raw vegan as well and we were able to eat um in a lot of raw food restaurants so I did go to a uh, Go Raw Cafe um there's two of them in vegas simply pure is another one it's at the containers uh stores in fremont downtown las vegas and so three of them and then there's more that i didn't get a chance oh let me see i think there's one on green valley ranch called uh life foods that one was delicious too they so serve raw vegan food as well 
and um, gourmet, um, gourmet organic coffee too. I just had a little bit. I haven't had coffee in a long time, so that was nice to taste just a tiny bit with almond milk. Once um, I was told that once you put almond milk in your coffee, it turns more alkaline than acidic. I hope that's true because I did have some. Uh, but yeah, I was able to do it. But the problem is that I was eating a lot of raw gourmet foods, so I tend to gain weight. As you know, raw gourmet, just a couple pounds, maybe two or three pounds, is raw gourmet food is high in nuts and seeds so they use a lot of nuts and seeds to make the sauces and to make the food is so delicious it's still live food enzymes that are healthy for us and i enjoyed the food a lot but i was eating a lot of it because i was out and about uh, and traveling utah is uh there was a raw uh let me see what was it called it was rotopia um Raw Rotopia, I think. Raw Topia. Raw Topia. That's what it was. Delicious. And um, it was uh, southeast of Sandy, I believe. A little, or northeast of Sandy. So it was a little bit uh, out there, but it, from the 15th freeway. But it was so delicious. I enjoyed it. And it's next to a Whole Foods that I'll be going to. So yeah, I was exploring a lot, eating a lot of raw gourmet. So it's, it's nice to be back home and get back to my salads. As you know, a lot of my recipes are like raw gourmet. And I do bake these recipes once or twice a week for myself and my husband. But for the most part, I eat salads daily. The more simple the cleaner salads juicing and fruits the better uh, off you are I also had blood work done and um, I want to do my results I'm gonna do a video for, from last year and this year on my blood work so you guys can see what's going on with that I want to update you on that because I do have some issues but a lot of the things are the same and they're good but I do have some issues that I want to talk about and that's what's going on just basically the big move a lot of personal things have happened thank god the family is okay now everybody is uh still grieving but you know um we're moving on and like always you guys illness is always something big that takes a lot of our loved ones and family members that's why it's very important that we continue to eat healthy uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up like if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And let me know if there's something that you guys would like to see me do. Um, have a great day. And once again, you guys, thank you for all your support. Bye-bye.